in the late 19th century, uh, two doctors uh, doubted the the theory that it was from eating too much sugar because they died even faster when they uh, made them not eat any sugar. So they uh, began feeding uh, first one patient with each uh, doctor. They let them eat all the sugar they wanted, which was something like uh, three-quarters of a pound a day Mm -hmm. of pure sugar added. And they very quickly recovered from the wasting disease and uh, Uh were able to go back to work after a few weeks of this (laughs) super-high-sugar diet. Uh Uh, And that gradually, uh, their followers eventually saw that fructose was uh, part of the sucrose standard sugar molecule, which... uh, got into cells and was metabolized without needing uh, insulin. Uh, so for um, 50 or 60 years, uh, many diabetics uh, were able to eat uh, a, a, a normal amount of, of um, sweetener in the form of fructose. Uh, but that never uh, became the dominant uh, treatment for for diabetes, even though it, it um, is more or less uh, as effective as the simply very high sucrose diet. Uh, but experiments looking for what was the cause of, in, in the case of uh, young kids, the type 1 diabetes that was um, more common in girls than boys, uh, was it turned out to be sort of an autoimmune uh, problem, inflammation, killing off the beta cells. And uh, it happens that in vitro and in animal experiments, you can uh, stimulate the uh, growth of stem cells in the pancreas with glucose. Mm -hmm. Um, So it isn't glucose that's responsible for killing those cells. It's um, an inflammation reaction, and the inflammation causes breakdown of fatty acids, which uh, cause free radical injury to the tissue. Uh, And uh, because of that observation of of the inflammation involving prostaglandins and and fatty acids, uh, unsaturated fatty acids, uh, a few experimenters uh, put uh, lab animals on a totally fat-free diet, uh, giving them only saturated fats or no fat at all, just carbohydrates and protein, vitamins and minerals, Mm -hmm. and then tried to give them diabetes by all of the standard uh, methods of poisoning the the, uh, beta cells of the pancreas in various ways so they couldn't make insulin. Mm -hmm. And these fat-free animals didn't develop the uh, experimental diabetes the way all other animals do. Uh Um, So uh, experimentally, it's been pretty well demonstrated that uh, unsaturated fatty acids breaking down uh, produce inflammation, which um, uh, activate many of the processes seen in diabetes, the degenerative processes in the retina and nerves, for example, or or where... uh, the damage uh, starts very often before the blood sugar increases at all. So if you're getting retinal degeneration and have normal blood sugar, or if you're getting uh, numb and tingly hands and feet and have normal blood sugar, uh, it's clearly not the the sugar which is responsible for the the degenerative changes. Hmm. Okay, so again, your um, point in the finger of blame, if you like, at uh, the free fatty acid liberation and the uh, oxidative damage that occurs from that. Um, Yeah, and the uh, unsaturated fatty acids happen to uh, create a vicious circle because they create stress, and the stress uh, activates the the, uh, stress hormones, which uh, provide, in the the normal process of providing fat from the tissues as emergency fuel, mm-hmm. they liberate more of the uh, unstable polyunsaturated fats, creating more free radical damage, creating more stress, liberating more fats, and so on. 
Mm. Or the um, purely saturated fats, when liberated, tend to turn off those stress hormones. Mm. 